I like to use the analogy of an hourglass. It's a common one and it fits what the conventional thinking is. It was an old way of measuring time. You could start by tipping the hourglass clock so all the sand grains were at the top. And within an hour, you could time it independently if you wanted to do an objective uh, measurement. Within an hour, all the sand grains would fall to the bottom. So you knew that if you started with all the sand grains up in the top, you, you left and you went and did something else. You came back, you want to know how long you've been away. Okay, so you make observations, you make measurements, you see that half the sand is still at the top, half the sand has fallen to the bottom, you know it takes an hour for it all to fall, so half and half, it means you've been out for 30 minutes. Uh -huh. And so that's what the geologists are saying, you know, if we know the rate of decay, if we know you only had parent to begin with, then if we measure the daughter now and assume that all that daughter came from parent, it's like that hourglass clock, we should be able to figure out how, how long ago all the atoms were originally just parents in the rock and that would go back to the time when the rock formed. When this basalt cooled, it locked in all those parent atoms mm -hmm. and then it was like having all the sand grains at the top. Now we come back years later and we're measuring how many of the, the daughter atoms are down the bottom in this basalt and then we're calculating, if we know the rate at which they fall, we can do the, okay. do the calculation. So the sand in the top represents uh, that material that is radioactive. Correct. And it, it is converting into a, a daughter yes. element. And that's the, the, and, and the sand that, in the bottom. Two that we can mention that people are familiar with, uh, uranium decays to lead and potassium decays to argon. Now, the point is that th this rate of decay is so slow when we measure it in the present, that uh, you know, it takes millions of years for parent atoms to decay to daughter atoms. And so that's ultimately where the millions of years come from, the fact that the decay rates in the present are slow.